Hey y'all, it's me Fletch, back at it again with yet another video, y'all should already know because I am the what? Baddest trans bitch on YouTube, and that's of uh, the period, darling. So first and foremost, I want to say I am back to posting, so I will be posting a story time, maybe before or after this, and I'm going to have my hair curled, my hair is no longer curled, like my hair is straight now, so... I will be posting videos with my hair being like this for a little minute. These are the more up-to-date ones. My hair is still curly. That was like from last week because I pre-recorded some videos so I wouldn't have to do anything for those last three days of the week because of my birthday and things like that. So I'm going to be actually posting today on Monday because I'm trying to get back on the schedule. So I'm going to post Monday today and then um, I'm going to post Wednesday and I'm going to post Saturday. And then after this week, I'll get back on my regular Sunday, Wednesday. I mean, not Friday, Sunday, what was it? Monday, Wednesday. What, what, I, I forgot. What was that, girl? I don't even know. I don't Girl, whatever. Look, whenever I post a video, bitch, you're going to get one. <laughs> I don't remember. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support for the people that have subscribed to me. Thank y'all so much for 330 subscribers. I appreciate it. A lot of folks may think that that's not a lot, but to me, 330 people that love to watch me and hear me talk about my traumatic life experiences, Bitch, I fucks with you, girl. This will be the story time about the time that I got caught trying to have fun on the clock, on the job. So in this story time, I'm going to introduce a guy. His name is going to be Dre. And I met Dre the senior year of my high school. Well, I don't even know why I was going to say it backwards like that, y'all. I met him my senior year of high school. And let me explain to y'all what Dre looked like. Dre was like, at the time... Dre was like a tall, I want to say he was like 6'1", 6'2", real skinny, lean, caramel, toned. He had like a a, a tapered fade. Y'all know when you had like a little fade around here, but you got your hair growing out in the front or whatever. So not in the front, girl, but you know what I'm talking about. Like a little chia pet. Dre was an underclassman at the time when I was in the 7th, uh, girl, 7th grade? What the fuck? Dre was an underclassman at the time when I was in the 12th grade. And basically what I want to say about him was he was very quiet. He stayed to himself. He didn't really hang out with the popular kids, but he didn't hang out with the not popular kids either. He was very much so like a all the way around uh, equal friend group type individual. So he really spoke to anybody that would speak to him. If you didn't speak to him, he wasn't going to speak to you. One day, you know, I ended up hitting him up. It was my senior year and um, it was around the time where like COVID was about to start hitting. So I kind of started being more out there. This was around the time where I also had linked up with my... Um, high school bully i don't know if it was at that time or it was after that what is that is that a tree looking like that or is that somebody oh girl that tree has an ugly face so this is around the time where i was more like bold i was more out there i really didn't give a fuck about what nobody thought about me i didn't give a fuck about what nobody felt if i thought you was cute i'm hard in your shit and i'm texting you that you look good if you want to argue we can argue bitch but you're not gonna fight me I hearted his picture one time and you know he didn't why does it smell like that out here I heard his picture one time and he didn't say anything about it. He just, you know, acknowledged me harding and he was like, thanks. And I said, you're welcome. And then that was just that on that. So fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. You know, I love saying fast forward like three times because when you fast forward three times, it goes really, really fast, right? Bingo, there you go. I ended up harding another one of his pictures that he posted on his story. And then he was like, you must like me or something. And I was like, maybe I do. I don't fucking know. I guess. And we exchanged numbers. Now, you know, I didn't work like two jobs at this point. I was at Technicolor, then I went to Ally Universal. So... I was working at Allen Universal, and with Allen Universal is security, if y'all didn't know what Allen Universal was, it's security, and basically, like, they had different posts, so they ended up putting me on this post, because the post I was on, my manager beat up his wife on the job, that's another story time I'll have coming on in the future, like, later on in the future, like, y'all, that was a crazy-ass story time, and at this place called Amazon, everybody know, girl, I'm saying at this place called Amazon, bitch, everybody know what the fuck Amazon is, bitch, if you know what the fuck Amazon is, girl, get your ass up out of America, who don't know what the fuck Amazon is, it was security, I was working the third shift overnight shift so on thursdays it would be this lady i'm gonna use her real name because i really don't care it was miss emily her name was miss emily i didn't dislike her but this made me kind of like not like her but i didn't dislike her and i had a manager named raheem right not raheem shabazz not raheem shabazz girl no not him i wish girl i would have risked it all for that it was like my 
supervisor or whatever on the days where it wasn't Thursdays where Miss Emily was my supervisor. So if y'all ever see this, hey bitch, y'all was right at the Amazon. They had two sides. They were actually working on building the other side, which was the second side. The main side that they had, they closed it down to the public. There were stations that we would be at over there at that post. So you would have the main doors where the side they used to work on, I'm gonna say point A, and then you had the side that they work on now, point B, and you would have the guard check that's point C. So on Thursday, I was at point A and Miss Emily was on point B. I was sitting on the side with this guy, we're gonna call him Stella Rose because his name sounds like that, but if you work there, you know who I'm talking about. But we're gonna say Stella Rose. It was around 12 o'clock in the morning, girl. I was sitting up there, I was bored, I didn't have anything to do. You know, me and him was texting back and forth, you know, doing a little thing, flirting or whatever the case may be. So I was just like, hey, you know, I'm sitting up here, I'm bored, you wanna come up here to my job and we can chill up here? And he was like, yeah. So I said, okay. So I'm sitting on the side with Stella Rose. And Stella Rose, me and him went to school together, actually. He was in my 10th grade biology class. It was very, very cool. Very accepting of my sexuality. He didn't bother me. Like, he was very much so like, what's up, Fletch? Gave me dap and things like that. Like, he was cool. He was really, really, really well-grounded. Really, really cool. So I got the Uber for him and things like that. Mind y'all, let me tell you something. Now, when I got that Uber, you know, I was working in Horn Lake, Mississippi. He lives in East Memphis. Now, what fucking Uber do you know wants to be taking somebody from all the way in East Memphis all the way to Horn Lake, Mississippi at 12 o'clock midnight? Who's gonna wanna do that? Uber after Uber after Uber after Uber, after Uber and they just kept canceling and canceling and canceling and canceling and canceling. I'm like, God damn, bitch, maybe I don't need to bring his ass up here. I should've listened to my damn gut and just said, nah, don't worry about it, never mind, cause Uber tripping. That's what the fuck I should've did. But you know, my hormones was acting a fool. And I was like, you know what, bitch, I don't care. Like, I genuinely wanna have a little sex. You know, like, I just wanna get my rocks out. Finally, somebody picked up. It was this old, Dusty, long chin ass, cracked lips, having ass. I can't talk about that because bitch, I need to some chapstick. My damn stuff. Hold on. Yeah, so like I was saying, long chin ass, cracked lips, having ass, fucking Uber driver girl. Did not like him. Crusty old, 68 year old black man. Real like, setting his ways, not giving a fuck about nothing. Don't even watch his ass. Very much so a bother. You know, the guys that had their haircuts, it's all the way down to their fucking follicles, bitch. Like, that's the type of type of dude he was. So he's getting in the Uber now at this point. He's on his way up there to where I am. Now I'm telling this dumbass Uber driver where the fuck to go. You, I, okay. So, okay. You had two sides. Like I told y'all. I'm the street, right? So, I'm the street. I'm a straight shot. So, once you get to all the way down to the end, once you get all the way down to the end, you have this side over here where this tree is. That's going to be the side that you turn on to go to the very first side. This is the side you turn on to go to B side. So, point A is over here. Point B is over here. I'm telling him, come to point A. You're going to keep straight all the way down and you're going to go to point A. You're going to hook a right and go to point A. Why in the figgity fuck are you constantly going to the damn left? Bitch, I told you, go to the right. Then on top of that, you stop and then you turn. Bitch, you all the way over there in the parking lot. Don't nobody even work it. Go to the fact you're not even open. Go to the fact you don't open until 10 o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. What the fuck are you doing? Bitch, you're not an early bird. You're an idiot. Why are you over there? Don't go over there. Come across the street. Keep straight. And go to your fucking left. I did I say left or the right? I said the right, right. Still not listening to me. So now you're like, you need to have some more clear directions. Bitch, who are you talking to? How I'm paying you for a service, bitch. Don't you ever get beside your damn self. He finally figures it the fuck out. I thought I done told you like 35 times where to go. I walk outside to open the door for, you know, Dre. Uber driver got some words for me. He's like, next time, make sure that you put like the directions in clearly because I can understand anything you were saying. I looked at him, I looked him up and down, and I turn around. Bitch, stop talking to me. Like, girl, I don't have nothing to talk to you about. Now I done let him in. You know, we sitting down in the little booth and whatnot. You know, a Stella Rose, he's like, hey, you know, what's up to Dre? Dre's like, what's up to Stella Rose? And Stella Rose is like, well, you know, I'm finna go ahead on and I'm finna get up and I'm finna go walk around because, you know, I don't. You know, I, I, I don't, I fuck with you, but I, I don't fuck with all that. And I'm like, okay, I get you, I respect it. So he got up and he walked away. So what's up? And he was like, what's up? One thing I hate is when 
fuck we do talk about shit and text and then folks be acting like they scared to like start it off why are you sending you know what you're here for you wouldn't have came from east memphis all the way to Hornet, mississippi to sit here and say what's up like we squared up in the street bitch ain't no what's that's up get your ass up and let's what's into this bathroom so we can handle this business i'm like you know what you're here for and then he get up and I'm like, yeah, man, nothing. Come on, you already know what we finna go do. I get stuff. I saw shades all the way to the bathroom when I grow with my cute little security guard outfit on, looking like a mall cop bitch. Like, girl, you couldn't catch me even if you could. Let me explain to y'all how this part of the building looks. I am the walkway. Like, we used to sit in these glass booths, right? So when you're in the glass booth, you're gonna come out of the glass booth. You're gonna go this way. You're coming out the glass booth. So all the way down, like if you're going down this way, all the way down this way, there's a little shack and it's not a shack for real it's more of like a you know how the trailers look on the back of the um not u-hauls what do they call girls semi trucks so they had like a trailer like that but they turned it into a bathroom and it had this really loud ass metal ramp that will always be crunching and cracking and make you think that you're 20 pounds heavier than what you are so basically that is where we were headed you had uh the men's side was on the right and the women's side was on the left so with that part being said you know we were going to okay we were going to go to the men's side obviously because why we go to the women's side i had left my radio at the desk so girl, like you know we get into the bathroom and whatnot girl he's standing in like the doorway and i'm like move out the fucking way like why are you sitting in the doorway? Girl, you open the door girl you open the door wide as hell all the light shines in there up on you see him standing right there move your ass in the shadows bitch like do you not know how to hide go to the biggest stall that's in there and i lock the stall door behind him then he goes sit down up on the little toilet or whatever girl and I flick my hair back like, oh my God, we're gonna take care of business. I guess on my ones and twos, my threes and my all fours. And girl, he drops his pants for me like a real nigga should. And I'm like, you know what? I didn't have you come back here for nothing. Maybe he's a grower, not a shower. So I've dealt with growers before. Like, okay, you know what? I can work my magic. I can finesse this. This just won't be the first rodeo I've ever tackled, you know? I get to working, girl. Like, I'm doing all types of tricks, girl. I've got my little finger in a ring like this, girl. I'm sucking on the tipping piece and whatnot, girl. I'm, like, you know, slobbing all down this man's thigh, girl. I'm tasting the balls, babe. Like, I'm doing the whole nine. And I'm just like, damn, like, this thing is not fucking growing. Like, I'm doing everything in my power. It's just like, what in the problem? Like, is it, is it me? Like, what? Am I, like, not doing it right? Am I using teeth? Like, what's the problem? Babes, that shit was not growing it was not growing at all like i mean it wasn't growing at all at this point girl i had a t-shirt on because i took my uniform shirt off smart move and girl like i got spit all down my shirt it's sticking to my non-existent boobs at the time girl like it's all up on my neck girl it's all on my nose it's in my eyes girl like it's some in my ears like y'all i literally could not breathe i'm doing everything that i can possibly do and nothing is happening so i'm like okay maybe like i need to switch it up so you know i started rubbing the you know rubbing the little but you know my hand and whatnot girl and i'm still doing my thing girl nothing is happening so now at this point i've gotten frustrated i got spit all on my hands it's all under my nails it's in my shirt it's on my neck it's in my nose i can't breathe like it's pissing me off my eyes are burning because i was wearing mascara on that day I'm sweating it's hot in this fucking bathroom there's no air in here i'm ready to get the fuck up and go he proceeds to tell me with the biggest batch of balls girl what you said sit on it what the fuck am i sitting on the toilet seat bitch your pelvis your lap even your testicles what the fuck am i supposed to be sitting on i decide to get my up and i sat down all i felt was the toilet seat bitch and it's not even because he was henny so you came all the way out here first of all ew bitch get away from me oh my god Listen, bitch, this is gonna be the last day I come out here and I record a video because I'm sick of these hoes attacking me. I ain't doing shit but telling my story. Hell, it might be his cousin. I'm not gonna keep doing this because, like, literally, we're not getting anywhere. I'm sitting down. I feel nothing but toilet water. Like, we're not getting anywhere. I don't feel there's nothing that's did, nothing's gonna come from this. It was so small, bitch. I could have thought it was a Vienna sausage. So, at this point, I'm feeling disrespected because you could have kept that shit at the gas station. I didn't need no potted meat, bitch. We're walking to where the door is and out of nowhere i'm hearing footsteps i'm like wait a minute hold on it might just be you know 
Stella Rose. You know, he might have to use the bathroom and things like that. So we finna get ready to get up out of here. The footsteps seem to stop abruptly. And then I hear... What's going on over here? Where for that shit? So explain to me why that was Miss Emily. So I'm like, okay, why is she looking for me? There's a bit, why are you over here in the first? What are you looking for me for? So here goes Stella Rose. He's like, well, uh, you know, Fletch, she went on her walk for me. She was in the corner when I showed you back over here. They got three bathrooms over there. Mind you, it's a bathroom right by the desk. So what was your point of coming over here to use the bathroom? So she goes into the women's bathroom. She's using the bathroom. So at this point, I'm triggered. I'm like, listen, I said, what you need to do is walk out of here and he's like what am i supposed to do i said just walk down the walk down the ramp so when we went and just go just hurry up go, go, go. and like hide behind the hide behind the bathroom hide behind the bathroom so i'm telling him the directions on what to do which was walk down the ramp once you walk off the ramp hide behind the bathroom he's like okay you're walking out the bathroom extremely slow so not want to get caught so he's walking out the bathroom trudging down the ramp who are you so now i'm like oh shit this man done got caught What's where you work at? What side do you work on? What's your department? Who told you to come up over here? Ain't no employee supposed to be up over here. Why are you up over here? And he just standing there just looking at her stupid. Answer the bitch questions. I don't care what you gotta say. Who let you in on this side? Who told you to come in on this side? How'd you get up over here? She's just drilling this man with so many questions, y'all. He couldn't even respond quick enough. Like, he was like, Huh? What? Here goes Stella Rose. He lost his badge. He came up to the bed because all of them that he was over there was locked up and he didn't feel comfortable using that bathroom. It's like, oh my gosh, girl. So he's lying, but his lies are ass. He ain't responding. She's drilling him. They don't know where the fuck I am. So she walks on back over there to her side. So I'm coming out the bathroom. I asked him, I was like, what the? Was trying to come down the ramp and that's when she had seen me i'm like there is no way that you was coming down the ramp and her ass just so happened to strategically walk out the bathroom and see your long ass walking down the ramp bitch so i asked Stella Rose, i was like what the fuck and he was like so i was like what happened then he told me he said i was trying to tell dude to go behind the fucking bathroom thing and he was walking so slow for somebody who don't want to be seen for somebody who wants to do deal shit, for somebody who don't want to get caught, you sure as hell wanted to get caught that day. Now, I'm like, shit. So basically, she knows you're here. She knows you're not supposed to be here. So now what am I supposed to do? So now we got to sit up here and make up these elaborate ass lies and plans. And y'all, it's so hot out here. So now we've walked all the way back up to the little booth and whatnot, and we're sitting in the booth. Miss Emily, she calls him and she's like, hey, Stella Rose, come in. This is Stella Rose. Is that boy still over there? No, uh, uh, he left. When I used to do my patrols and whatnot over there by myself, I had seen that there was a leftover vest that was over there on that side. So I saw that vest again and I had picked it up and I ran back up to the desk and I gave it to him, told him to put it on to make it look like he works there. I can tell that Stella Rose is cracking under pressure. I'm calling Ubers and Ubers and Ubers and Ubers. Nobody is responding. Like they'll confirm it and then cancel it, and then confirm it, and then cancel it, and then confirm it, and cancel it. Y'all, I have been spending so much money trying to get Ubers, y'all. I was in the negatives. She calls again. She's like, come in, Stella Rose. And then he was like, this is Stella Rose. She was like, how did that boy get up in there? And then here goes Stella Rose ass. Well, bless you, man. Bless you. Right. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, why the fuck did you say that? You could have told her that he walked over here on his own from point B. You chose to tell her ass that I let him in. So now at this point, I'm sitting up there. I'm stressed. I'm still trying to get Uber. Nobody's confirming. Out of nowhere. Come in, Rover. This is the Rover. Pull up over there and see if you see that boy still up in there. Copy that. A fire lit under my fucking ass. I say, you got to go. And he looked at me like, get your ass up. You have to go. Oh, my Caucasian dude. That was a Rover. That man used to be flying in that security vehicle. I was like, child, no. Girl, I jump up out my little chair or whatever, right? I'm walking to the door. I'm like, come on, come on, come on. Did you not hear me when I told you that you have to go? What part of that did you not understand? You need to go. I done made it all the way to the door. I turn around. 
this man is still walking out of the damn cubicle where we be sitting at making the damn badges. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I finally make it out the door. He's finally coming out the door behind me. When I turn around, you're opening up the door. I done made it all the way to the edge of the driveway. Go into the bathroom, go into the bathroom. As soon as I turned that corner, bitch, that rover was sitting right there. I literally froze and they looked at me and I said, Hey, bestie. And then I walked on back into the building. <laughs> Santa Rosa, like he saw a damn ghost. I'm looking at him like I saw a damn ghost. We were looking at each other like we saw a damn ghost. And, and he's looking at me, I'm looking at him. And I just sat down. <laughs> I just sat the fuck down. That is very much so where the story ends. But let me tell y'all what happened. He was able to get home. I ended up asking my mom to take him home. So when I got off, we took him back to his house. He went to his house. And that was the last time, the first and the last time that I had, would ever, and I mean I would ever, I will ever do anything on the clock on the job. Don't let your hormones fuck you up, okay? You, you ain't got to have sex that damn bad, bitch. You're not that horny. Thank you guys for coming to my TED Talk. I really appreciate it. I'm hot. I'm out of breath. And it's time for me to go inside. So, bye bye bitches. Until next time.